So Beth, a disappointing defeat at home at Crystal Palace today, how do you assess the game? Yeah, it's obviously really disappointing. Um, it's probably quite an entertaining game for a neutral, um, but yeah, it hurts when you're on the losing side of that. And credit to Crystal Palace, I thought they were really ruthless, they were a strong team. Um, we knew we had to be at our best today and, and we weren't, so yeah, it's, just, it's frustrating when we've had a, a good start as well and we've let the lead slip, but it's all part of football. You mentioned the good start, you know, we could have been more goals up before Palace got there first and I guess there'll be a sense of frustration that we didn't take those chances. Yeah, absolutely, I had a couple myself and yeah, you think about them things after the game and yeah, it's all part of football and um, if we don't take our chances, we're not ruthless enough, then teams like that are going to, you know, um, counteract that and, and they're going to score themselves. So, yeah, um, it hurts, but we'll have to stick together as a group and, and bounce back next week. And yeah, the good thing is we're not having to wait a long time for a game, another big game at home next week and a real opportunity for us to work hard this week and bounce back. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Sheffield are obviously a really good team as well, but um, it's a huge opportunity, obviously, like you say, try and get some momentum. we at home again, which I think makes a big difference. And yeah, we've got to get it right next week. Just finally a word for the fans, another good turnout today and, and you could hear them particularly you know, when we needed that little bit of backing. Oh absolutely, they are like the, the 12 man so it's huge, it's amazing when you're walking out and, and you've got so many supporters and yeah we just keep, we'll keep needing them uh, for the rest of the season so thank you.